So we're talking about the Chaoyang Park Plaza in uh, Beijing. Yes. This, uh, obviously Beijing, very, very developed city, specifically even this area is uh, one of the central business districts in Beijing that's already full of uh, a lot of buildings. Uh, what did you want to add as a firm uh, with your contribution to this area? Well, the, the project itself is situated in the kind of in between the park and the urban environment as well. So what we try to bring up to, to these projects, we don't want this tower to become another, reg the regular tower sits on the edge of the park. We really want this tower to become an extension of the park. So we have main, two main towers that we really want it become a, a landscape of the park, just like in an in ancient Chinese painting that you have beautiful rock and you have a lake right in front of it. So this is one idea. And then the other side, we're gonna face into the urban context. So we wanna break, break, break down the massing as much as we can. So bring in the human scale back to a 2.2 million square feet hmm. project. So it's more welcoming and then to the public. And also, you know, through our philosophical Shantri cities, you always try to create this kind of moment where people feel more human in your space instead of being all you know concrete jungles. Right, and the, the ancient Chinese painting that you're talking about is that the Sha Shui uh, idea, the mountain water. Yes. So yeah. in this case, the building is the mountain. The building is the mount, uh, the mountain, but we already have the water from the park. But then actually, the Shan Shui philosophy is not really only about a mountain and water. The uh, ancient Chinese philosophy about that is really about how we live um, closely, both human mountain and the water and the nature. So human is part of the, na the nature as well. So how do we create this kind of human emotions in the modern society as something that we always try to uh, achieve in this case. Hmm. The form is also really stands out from the rest of the buildings on the skyline. You know, usually they're boxy. Hmm. This is very rounded. Uh, it's, it's dark black instead of a lighter white or something. Mm -hmm. um, was that a conscious choice to make it stand out from the adjacent buildings and the rest of the skyline? Well, our client really wanted a very iconic building to start with. But in the same time, we do think the color scheme of the building does work well with, uh, with the park. It stands out in the same time it has its own quietness, even though the shape itself is not quiet, but then the material make it quiet and very low key as well. Hmm. Yeah. There are also these fins. There's like several volumes collected into two m large masses, but they have these fins de like denoting where the different volumes are separated. Mm -hmm. Are those just uh, shapes or do they actually perform a function? It's part of the shapes, but in the same time, it's also because the building itself is a lead gold, right? So those fins really acting very important element in that because actually it's a ventilation shaft. Mm. So it brings air from the ground level through a uh, body of the water. So it cool the air down and then filter the air as mm. well and bring it into the building. Because all those fin facade, the, the window cannot be opened only on the side, like the straight walls, the window can be open. Mm. So in order to create more net natural ventilation, that those fins really adding a lot in this case. How effective is that as a cooling system compared to some more conventional methods? You will still need AC system because the summer in Beijing is very humid and the, win the winter is still very cold, but it does reduce the amount of energy used a lot. That's mm. why they wanted to leak out for us in this case. Mm. Yeah. Are there other elements of sustainability in the design? To us, the, sustainable, uh, the sustainability is not really about you know, how much high tech you can apply to your project. To us, it's really about how you may, from, from urban planning view, that we really think this project is something, make a big difference for the city itself. Because as you see around it, it's all, you know, we call it a modern living. To us, it's more like soulless, you know, hmm. just stacking towers. It's maximized its efficiency because you know it's you know it's capitalism. It's it's all driven by the profit. But what we're missing a lot of times in those projects is really about human feelings. Hmm. And so so we we can say this tower from sustain, from sustainable sustainable point of view, it really brings in you know human into the topic hmm. again. We talked about this uh, building juxtaposed next to the rest of the skyline generally. But what about with some of the other buildings that are considered iconic right in the area? I mean, you've got the CCTV tower there. Mm -hmm. um, was that a consideration in the design, how it would play off that building and, and others like it? CCTV tower, in another hand, it's really awarded by the government, which is really showing the power of the nation. So it has, has different agenda in this case. Hmm. And our projects really try to be sensitive with both the park and the city and a human scale as well. So we all have different 
agenda. But of course, in the end of the day, we all get to being no, uh, very noticeable and also a new iconic as well. So I think we add into a very different aspect of being iconic, but in the same time being very, uh, very sensible towards the neighborhood. CCT Tower, it is a great achievement uh, for architecture point of view, but I don't know how much it brings to the society in that case. Hmm. When it comes to the human scale, what is it like where the building meets the ground? Are there pedestrian, public, you know, metro connections? What kind of uh, consideration is there for the neighborhood around the building in addition to the park itself? So there is a subway station very nearby. So there's a lot of foot traffic there. In the same time, it is a um, very urban uh, space as well, because that's really close to one of the entrance to the park. So, um, so when the two tower touches the ground, you have a body of the water that we create a small body of water is a landscape element. And then we have uh, a group of smaller tower around six, four or five floors towers uh, right next to the, 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 uh, these two main towers. And in between we create this kind of very organic path that it kind of like open and welcoming people to be there and also inviting people to stay there because that's all the, re the, the retails. And then that's also become the gateway to introducing into the main tower. So you slowly draw people in, stay, and they enter the tower. Hmm. This is kind of like the whole process of people getting to the tower. Hmm. One more question for you, which is more general. Hmm. What does innovation mean to you when it comes to tall building design and development? I'm going to talk about in a conference about in the innovation as well because innovation. Many people here they all talk about how innovative the idea, uh, how innovative in terms of technology, how to realize the, mo the modern towers. There's so many um, experts out there and the uh, and the consultants can help us realize that. To us, the innovation is really about um, ideas and the con and the concepts. How we being how how it's not for the sake of being different. It's really how we can contribute to the city and uh, and uh, and make the city a better a much better place. Mm. Because right now, especially in China, you know, a lot of you know urban planning is really um, driven by capitalism, and then they forgot many about. It. Um, human feelings. So this is to us innovative is innovation is to bring in mm -hmm. that kind of idea back to the table again and even get one of the large projects built in the middle of this town and then make people question and the challenge and talk about it and hopefully make a difference for the future as well. Mm -hmm.